prosperous man has a way he reacts. You know, he has a way he responds to, th responds to things. You know, he has a way he does that. Look at Isaac. He was digging a well. <laughs> and when he dug this well, he found water. Someone came and disputed. Said, this land is mine. This well is mine. And he was disputing. And they, they didn't only um, dispute. In fact, they started taking stones and putting inside the well. They were spoiling um, Isaac's business. Do you know what Isaac did? Isaac left the whole thing and went somewhere else. And the Bible says, as Isaac went somewhere else, the water dried. Then he started a new one. He dug a new well. And as soon as he started digging that new well, water showed up. They came back again and said, and said, and said this one is ours. And they strived with him. He left them again and went to a third place. After the third time, these people had some sense. They discovered that it's not the situation who is here with me. It is not the place. They discovered it was the man. And you know what they said? They came to him to make peace. Bible says they didn't trouble Isaac anymore. Then they came to Isaac and said to him, he said, you are bigger than us. You are greater than us. Let's only just make a contract that you will not come against us. You won't come against us. And Isaac said, he said, this is Rehoboth. God has made room for us. God has made space. You know, and, and later we're going to look at how that there are dimensions of this blessing. You know, that, that there, there are dimensions of God's blessings, God's grace. You can move from one level to another. You, know, you can move from one level to another. Get that scripture back up. Because to this you were called that so that you may inherit a blessing. Um, amplified version. Never return evil for evil or insult for insult, scolding, tongue lashing, berating. But on the contrary, blessing. Praying for, your, for their welfare and happiness and protection and truly pitying and loving them. This is just consistent with what we heard about Isaac. For know that to this you have been called, that you may yourselves inherit a blessing from God, that you may obtain a blessing as heirs, bringing welfare and happiness and protection. Lovely. Now, don't be carried away by um, called to inherit a blessing as if the blessing is still coming. He's telling you what God proposed. Then efficient tells you it has done. He has done it. Come on, amen. That means I'm, I'm called to inherit a blessing, but efficient says I have inherited it. You know, I have inherited it. That means that, that transaction is complete. You know, it's complete. So if Thessalonians is praying that my state be preserved, I'm seeing in Ephesians that my state is the state of blessedness. So I want to remain in this state of blessedness. That I am blessed. That's my consciousness. That I am blessed. 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 Give it to me in the message translation. That goes for all of you, no exceptions, no retaliations, no sharp tongue sarcasm. Instead, bless. That's your job to bless. Woo! That's your job to bless. Then it says, You'll be a blessing and also get a blessing. Say this, say this. There is nothing manufactured by a human or demons that can change the quality of my nature in Christ. Uh -huh. ha, have you heard, have you heard, have you heard that Naira is now 700 Naira? Um, Naira per dollar is now 700 Naira per dollar? Don't say, hey, 
we are finished. No, 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 no. You are saying that the value of the Nigerian Naira can affect the quality of your gold. You didn't get fake gold. Oh, you did you did you hear what I said? Sit down. Now you you must you must have this mindset. You must rise. You know, see, birds can walk when they choose, but when conditions change and there's a threat, birds don't keep walking. So we can relate with Nigerians who understand what I'm saying and say that the economy is not is not good. And we can be talking to leaders and talking to, uh, you know, about the economy and talking about the things to change. But don't let that now affect your personal existence. Who is here with me now? Don't let it affect your personal existence. I mean, you ask the person who says that he cannot do something today because the dollar is 700, 700 naira per, 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 um, per dollar. Ask them, when he was 120, what did you do? No, you didn't hear what I said. When he was 120, they were remembering the days that it was two. And saying at 120, it was bad. And was giving reasons why they didn't do anything at 120. So you can, you can talk about things and, you know, do all that. But when it comes to your personal life, you remember you live by a different economy. You know, you, you saw now and say, what is it I want to do? The reason why I'm saying this is if you are not careful, your actions will not be based on external circumstances.